In this video, we will talk about evaluating piecewise functions at various values um, like these. Well, um, let's think back to the simple functions of the past. Um, when we had a function like f of x is equal to 2x minus 1, and then we saw this, f of negative 5. And we were supposed to evaluate this. This meant take negative 5 and plug it in for x and see what you get. So in order to do this, we would have, um, instead of 2x minus 1, it would become 2 times negative 5 minus 1. And that would be negative 10 minus 1. So the answer would be negative 11. So f of negative 5 would equal negative 11. So we're um, trying to do something similar to that, only with piecewise functions. So um, a piecewise function has more than one part. And so your first job is to decide which part you're going to use to evaluate the function. And it depends on this. This tells us um, which part to use. If the x value that you're evaluating at is less than negative 2, then we'll use the top function. If it's greater than negative 2, then we'll use the bottom part of the function. So, which is it? Is negative 4 less than negative 2, or is negative 4 greater than or equal to negative 2? Well, hopefully you understand that negative 4 is less than negative 2. So for that reason, we are going to be using the top part of the function. So that's why I'm going to do 5 times negative 4 minus 1. So that's going to be negative 20 minus 1. So that's going to equal negative 21. So that's the answer to problem number 1. All right, let's go again. Um, what about if f is negative 2? Um, I'm sorry, what about if x is negative 2? Well, is negative 2 less than negative 2? No, a number can't be less than itself. Is negative 2 greater than or equal to negative 2? Well, yes, because of the or equal to part. So for that reason, we're going to be using the bottom function. So that means, um, you see x minus 9, so that means we'll be doing negative 2 minus 9. Negative 2 minus 9 is negative 11. So that's the answer to number 2. What about 0? Is 0 less than negative 2? Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 2? 0 is greater than negative 2. Um, if you're having trouble knowing, um, for example, whether or not 0 is greater than or equal to negative 2, just picture a number line. Okay, Here would be 0, negative 2 would be over here. See how 0 is to the right of negative 2? That tells you that 0 is greater than negative 2. All right, anyway, that's why we will again be using the bottom part of the piecewise function. So x minus 9, so that makes this 0 minus 9. And that's just negative 9. So that's the answer to number 3. OK, what about number 4? 5. Is 5 less than negative 2? No. Is 5 greater than or equal to negative 2? Yes. So again, we're using the bottom part of the function. So x minus 9, that means 5 minus 9. Um, so that is negative 4. So that would be the answer to number 4. All right, let's slide on over and do the same thing for number 5, 6, 7, and 8. 1. All right, so I'm looking at these. Is 1 less than or equal to 6, or is 1 greater than 6? Well, 1 is less than 6, so that means we'll be doing the top part of the function. 
All right, so that means I'm doing 1 half of 1 minus 10, um, which, of course, is really just 1 half minus 10. Okay, um, as a decimal, I know that that is going to be negative 9.5. Um, as a fraction, I mean, I could use my calculator. I might use my calculator. Um, we need like denominators, so this would be like 2 and 2. So that would make this 1 half minus 20 over 2. So that is... One, you know, that's 1 minus 20 over 2. So that is negative 19 over 2. Okay, so that is the answer to number 5. Got to get the stuff out of my way. All right, um, so number 6. So those are equivalent. Now, uh, so negative 10. Is negative 10 less than or equal to 6, or is it greater than 6? Negative 10 is less than uh, 6. So that means, again, we're using the top part of this function. So that means I'll be doing 1 half of negative 10 minus 10. Well, half of negative 10 is negative 5. So that's negative 5 minus 10. Slide this over. So that's going to be negative 15. OK, now, uh, what? wait, I don't know that I'm going to be doing this. So let's look again. 6. Is 6 less than or equal to 6? Well, yes because of the equal to part, 6 equals 6. So again, we're doing the top function. So this will be 1 half uh, of 6 minus 10. Half of 6 is 3, so that's going to be 3 minus 10, which is negative 7. And 0. Is 0 less than or equal to 6? Or is it greater than 6? 0 is less than 6. So again, we're using the top part of the function. OK, um, so that's going to be 1 half of 0 minus 10. So that's just 0 minus 10, so that is negative 10. So that's the answer to number eight. And that's it. That is how you evaluate a piecewise function. Notice that you don't get two separate answers. You don't evaluate for both pieces. Um, you just evaluate for the one piece that is chosen by this condition. All right, in my next video, we're going to graph some piecewise functions. Alright, so this is where we'll pick up in the next video.